Well, we have been grinding and sanding on our trailer for over nine hours. This actually happened yesterday. After nine hours, my back gave out and I was pretty tired from crawling under the trailer, around the trailer, through the trailer. Well, I didn't actually go through the trailer, except for like, you know what I mean. Anyway, so um, if you look around here, the shop is actually quite a bit, huge, huge mess. We have a little bit of the, the media left from doing some sandblasting and come to find out that our compressor actually had a problem and I wasn't able to sandblast everything that I wanted to. Um, actually, it was going extremely slow, so I ended up getting the grinder out and we did as much grinding as we could on this and then we brought a drill out with another grinding wheel that I'll show you a little bit later. But right now what we need to do is we need to go over to our air compressor and replace the air water separator and the air regulator. What would happen is I'd hit the trigger and it'd be a big burst of air and then it would run out of air. So let's go fix that now so that we can start doing some sandblasting today and continue this project, which is, this is the dirty part. This is the part that frankly, I really didn't want to do, but we're going to go ahead and take care of it so we can have a nice, pretty trailer, right? Right, we want to have it pretty and strong. So let's get over to the air compressor. Here at our air compressor, we have our new water oil separator. The old one was plugged somewhere in here and so it wasn't getting air all the way through like it's supposed to. So we're just going to re replace the old one with this new one. And then also we have this air regulator here, which allows as much air pressure as you want through it by adjusting this knob here. Put our little nipple piece on here so we can connect this to our other piece. I've put Teflon tape on it. We'll just snuggie it just so. Snuggie it. That's a good shop term. And our new air nozzle in. And I don't think you have to over tighten these. Just make it a nice taunt connection. And we'll be back to sandblasting and making a, I don't know if a bigger mess in this shop is actually possible. Now we'll test our pressure. So I was offline for a few minutes because we were having some problems with our new parts, but I think we're ready to go. Let's get to more grinding, more sandblasting, more getting this trailer all cleaned up and ready for paint. Here we are at day two of grinding and sanding and sandblasting our frame. It's looking pretty good. You can tell the difference. Let's find a spot that hasn't been done yet. Here's one. So if you look on your left, that has not been prepped, ground, sanded, whatever you want. But on the right, it's actually looking pretty good. Did I mention we've had 15 hours of grinding and sanding into this already? It's a lot of work. Our axle's looking pretty good. This side over here, we did sandblasting around all the bolts and it came out pretty clean. 
Still need to sandblast this side. But it's coming out pretty, pretty clean. We're not going to be able to get it perfect. And that would just be ridiculous. I'd be here forever. But we're certainly going to try to do our best. So probably another good day of grinding and sanding. Well, this has been one crazy, one dirty, filthy, stinking, hard project. Well, this part of the project, the rest of the project has been fun. This part of it, grinding, sanding, scraping, has not been fun at all. We have used probably everything we have in the shop to remove rust, scale, uh, whatever it was on the old metal to get it fairly smooth. Some of the metal is actually in really good shape. Actually, I should, I should re, re, you know, I should rephrase that. The metal's in very good shape. Um, not that much pitting on it. So we was able to grind down to uh, bare metal in most every case. The only problem that we have is around the actual wheel hubs and the leaf springs um, they are they're cleaning up nicely but i'm not able to use the sandblaster like i had hoped the sandblaster works great the only problem with it is it does about an eighth to a quarter of an inch strip each time you pass and so can you imagine this whole trailer and doing it in eighth inch strips to get all the rust and stuff off. So what I've opted to do is I started out with using our grinder and I ground down as many flat spots as I could. That worked really well. And then I went to our drill and our drill has all these different attachments, different steel wheels, carbon wheels. Um, there are different sizes in that to get into different locations, you know, wide or these little, this little piece here fits into nice tight corners. Um, that was working well. However, in some places the drill was actually too big. So I went to my drawer and I found my little air tools and these have been a lot of fun and they've been very, very helpful to getting into the smaller spots. So we've used that. Um, some places I just used a plain scraper to flick some of the goo and mud and whatever else was in the tight corners. Got that out. So what's left? Um, I probably have, well right now I have 18 hours into sanding and grinding and cleaning up this frame. I probably have another hour on this frame here on this side and these two center rails. Um, I should be able to finish them off. There's a little bit of, of rust underneath them. Um, so I'll take care of that. And then the, the heart, last part is around the wheel wells, or not the wells, the, the wheel hubs and the leaf springs. I'm gonna clean those up as good as I can and I'll use the sandblaster in some places. Um, like I said, it works really good, but one, it makes a huge mess. 
Two, it's a little, it just does that little strip. And three, you gotta fill up that bottle a lot. So it works. So I give credit to the guy, it does work. And it's not very, it's not effective as far as time. So what I'm gonna do is uh, we'll end this video. Um, the rest of, uh, before I see you again, I'll finish those, I'll finish sanding the hubs and get those all cleaned up. And then I think we're going to put some primer on here. They're called Rust Aid. Um, after cleaning the frame as good as I can, I'm gonna spray this on it. And what it is, is it is a rust converter where it converts the rust into a black primer. Um, it's sandable, it's paintable. I used it on my, uh, the, my, I used it on my Datsun 620 project and it turned out awesome. So it's a little expensive, but I wanna make sure we have a nice coat of primer on this trailer that converts the rust and then we're off to paint. I have chosen two different colors of paint. Um, it's a little off from the norm. It started out as a silver trailer, but I don't really like silver as for a frame. And then I was thinking black, but I don't know, it shows all the dirt and black is just kind of boring. So then I thought, well, how about a white trailer? That'll be nice. It's, well, white's a little bit bright. So the color I'm gonna choose is, <coughs> oh, what, you didn't hear that? Well, you'll have to tune in and see. Maybe we'll get to it next week, but it depends on my work schedule. Next week for sure we'll get this trailer all primed up and hopefully we can paint the trailer. And I'll show you that color in a coming up video. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate all your time. I know you're busy, everybody has a busy schedule, but I do thank you for tuning in. Um, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and we'll continue to work on our part three for this little trailer, getting it back on the road. <laughs>